Hello everyone, welcome to VISP trainings. I am Pai Jalam, working as a functional consultant at VISP. VISP is a tech company providing technological solutions across the globe. In today's session, uh, we will be having an we will be having a walkthrough of the comparative statement, comparative income statement, and uh, we will also get to know how does the comparative income statement looks into our tax return application. So let's start. Comparative financial statements are the complete set of financial statements that reveals information for more than uh, one reporting period. This, uh, in simple words, I would say that it is a document that compares a particular financial statement with a prior period statement. I'll talk about the comparative income statement, so it helps you ascertain uh, the changes of various components of uh, expenses and uh, it helps in the identification of the reasons for these changes. With the help of this statement, the performance of a company over different periods can be compared and uh, we can, uh, as it is an income statement, so we can see the changes in expense item and sales can be easily ascertained. Uh, it also helps to ascertain the trends that are there uh, uh, that are related with the sales, cost of goods sold, operating expenses, so that a proper uh, comparison can be made, uh, which helps the investor to uh, take the future investment decision for the organization. Uh, we can see in this picture a comparative statement of uh, two different periods are shown. We can see the income statement of 2010 is compared with 2011. All the required, uh, I would say, the transactions are there, the, like net sales, cost of goods sold, gross profit, operating expenses, operating profit, and uh, finally, uh, we are having the net profit. So we can see as the comparison is made over here where, between the two periods. So if a comparison is done, so there must be some variance. So the variance is shown in the next column of the period and the percentage of that variance is also shown over here. So, so we can see a percentage of this variance is also visible under this picture. Moving on to the NetSuite application, we will be having this uh, report overview. We will be go, we will be going under the reports, financials, and comparative income statements. Here we can see a comparative income statement window has opened up before us. Uh, the financial rows is here. The period of uh, the I would say the income statement for two periods like January uh, 2022 and the January 2021 to adjusted 2021 is appeared before us. Uh, we can uh, we can collapse these uh, tabs like this. So we will be having a uh, I would say the summarized view of this comparative income statement. Here at the footer level, we can have the quick filters with the help of which we can change the period. Like I, I, I would be taking here the, um, we, can we can take custom period as well, or we can change the period from these quick filters, or we can change the period from here also. Next uh, we are having is the subsidiary, for which subsidiary we, this uh, comparative income statement is being made. The accounting book is here, two options are here. Accounting book, uh, piece of India, and primary accounting book for which I will be taking here the primary accounting book. Uh, another way, another thing we are having is the column list. The this thing is for. I would say if we want to display this uh, comparative income statement, uh, the amounts can be displayed under the following dimensions. Like the options are here total. If we want to display the amounts under the under uh, any class, department, location, and location hierarchy, subsidiary, and accounting period, accounting quarter, we can select it from here. I'm not selecting anything. And, uh, and we can click on refresh, so it will provide us the uh, display of this income statement accordingly. Here we are having uh, other options like, uh, if we want to show this uh, income statement in plain form, so plain is already selected over here. If we want to have this report under the grid format, so we can have it. And uh, 
another thing is we can uh, collapse these steps it is already collapsed we can expand these uh, things and uh, the this thing is like uh, if we want to display this income comparative income statement uh, under the bar graph so we can see a bar graph is here if we want to change the format into the pie chart we can do it another option we are having is the line graph and uh, so i am taking here bar graph the other option is top 10 these are the options uh, how many items do we want to display in this comparative income statement if i select 15 so it, uh, you can see uh, it will provide us me the uh, 15 transactions detail so this is how we can have the uh, uh, graph uh, graphical information of this income statement another option is if we want to export this uh, in the comparative income statement into excel file or pdf or csv or word document we can uh, change uh, we can do it from here we can take these options into consideration and if we want to have a print of this uh, comparative income statement we can do it another option we are having is mail and after doing all these things we can click click on refresh and it will provide us the comparative income statement so this is how our income uh, comparative income statement looks like in our netsuite application in case of any questions queries or consultation feel free to write to us at www.bispsolutions.com Thank you for watching.